this company was started in 1964 by my huh. my original partner. Uh, his name was Neil Perkins. Oh. Neil was a hunter, uh, sportsman, started making sporting holsters. Mm -hmm. Along the way, we figured out what gun control and all that good stuff happened, and it might be better to be in the, uh, the law side. enforcement business. Where and, they have uh, to have guns. Yeah. Where they have to have them, and it might be a little more stable. So. Well, Neil was the, the creative guy. He is the guy that would design the products and the holsters and things like that. I brought more of the business piece of it to the table. So we were a good pair. We, mm -hmm. uh, what happened was in 1999, Neil and I sold the business to a company called Armor Holdings. In 2005, the uh, chairman of Armor Holdings came to me and said, would you come and run the whole business? So when I took over in 2005, I, I said, you know, what we really need to do is look the size we are and be the company that we can be. So that's what we did. We, we kind of went off on that uh, adventure. So we basically have uh, uh, five different uh, manufacturing plants. We have the one here in Ontario. We have a, a, a plant in Tijuana. We have a, a, a big plant in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, where, we, uh. where we build most of the body armor out there. Have a plant in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, where we do hard armor helmets, things like that. Mm -hmm. We have a plant in Casper, Wyoming that does what we call less than lethal, which is tear gas, pepper sprays, all that kind of stuff. Well, I think managing through the recession and the downturn of the economy is always challenging. It's, it's much more fun to have your foot on the gas than to put it on the brake. So, you know, it's, but it is challenging in the economy the way it is. So you got to be really playing heads up. You don't have the growth that masks mistakes. It's, you don't want to make mistakes right now. So growth is a great cover up. If you're growing your sales at a you know a 10, 12 percent rate, covers up a lot of mistakes. You don't have that luxury right now. We're well, we're sized right. We because we did all the work on the integration and consolidation before the recession hit. We're in very good shape. The biggest thing I have to do is set the strategic direction mm -hmm. of the business. And the culture. What is our culture? What is it? What are, what are we all about? And what we we're about is trying to be the best. When I'm looking for my team, I'm looking for leaders, people who understand leadership, understand what it means to be a leader. You know, people that are committed to what they do. And at the end of the day, what you really look for in people, mm -hmm. people who do what they say they're going to do and deliver. You know, I, that that uh, un, uh, over uh, under promise and over deliver is always a good thing. <laughs> uh, I, I try to spend some time every day wandering around, whether it's even in the customer service or it's mm -hmm. it's uh, in someone's office or just to see what's going on. And so you got to get out of this office, though, and I don't do it as much as I'd like yeah. to, but I try to every day. I try to schedule some time every day to do this. I look at product. I look at I, I like to talk to people. I mean, I, a lot of these people have been with us a long time down here, so I know them all. So when I get down on the floor, I like to see how they're doing and just... You know, it's just about understanding who, who they are and, and, you know, thanking them for the job they did. Because without them, we wouldn't get anything done. I enjoy people. I think, I think business is about people, motivating them, mm -hmm. getting them to understand what the, what the mission is that we're on, what we're trying to do. And we make some really cool stuff. This saves people's lives.